Hi, I'm Kimberly Fessel and today I'll be showing you how to change the size of your Matplotlib figures. This is a pretty commonly asked Matplotlib question. In fact, it's currently the number one most voted question on Stack Overflow for Matplotlib. So let's dive in. In order to begin coding, I'll just import the PyPlot module as well as the NumPy library. And I'm just going to create some data here. This is a basic sine wave, and you'll see that plotted out with matplotlib. If I would like to change the size of this figure, all I need to do is add in one more line above this code that references the PyPlot module and the figure that I'm about to create. And then I just need to pass in this keyword argument fig size. I'm just passing a tuple here, which references the width and the height of my figure. So those two numbers in the fig size argument represent the width and the height of our figure. For example, if we had supplied 10 6, that would be a figure that is 10 inches wide and 6 inches high. If we reverse those two numbers, now we'll see just the opposite. So by default, matplotlib is going to use a width of 6.4 and a height of 4.8. This works out to be a ratio of 4 to 3. As we just saw, you can change the figure size of an individual figure, but you can also update the figure size of all of your figures by updating your RC parameters. Let's see an example of that. If I'd like to change the size of all of the figures I'm creating with matplotlib, I can just update the RC parameters. So all I have to do is reference the pyplot module and those RC parameters, and then pass in the parameter that I would like to update. In this case, it's the fig size property of any figures that I create. And so here I'm just passing in that all future figures should be four inches wide by four inches high. And now you'll see that as I produce more plots with matplotlib, lib, all of these figures are going to be four by four. So thanks so much for joining me today. All of the code I demoed is available on my GitHub page. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave me a comment below or subscribe to my channel where I'll be doing more matplotlib tips in the future. See you then.